164 Vano Sinigma, video number 164 Concerning my profile picture of Vano Sinigma video mix androgyny I'll tell you a little secret one of these two cats is female and the other one is male. <laughs> Guess which one? <laughs> that one with the red color in the background I'm using on my Twitter a Soul Confiscator Cat from Founder State of Illuminati. <laughs> that one which is looking from one side more from one eye just now remember the hashtag whisper rap written together uh, I have several Twitter accounts uh, I've got that hashtag whisper rap in my Twitter account a music video mix which is a username MVM which is abbreviation for music video mix 432 and this is symbol for 432 Hertz you know the beats per minute welcome to follow me I'm just listening to more videos from YouTube uh, filter FTM sorted by upload date and something came to my mind uh, it's like uh, the next step what I said in my video mix number 152 maybe later I'll paste that uh, maybe in the end in many countries uh, the health care system is very closely uh, related to the state and all this tax topic so especially when it comes to people who want to do a testosterone treatment you are not allowed to buy it uh, without uh, first uh, going to a certain control process of the healthcare system so then you have the advantage that they uh, might help you to pay for that treatment but first you have to wait long time and uh, I can see it come now uh, just uh, think you have listened uh, to my video number 152 before so the next step would be like a big companies uh, if you want to work in these big companies you have uh, you need to have a microchip implanted in your body so they can track you every every step financially especially no privacy and this is really a little bit like uh, extortion you want uh, they help you okay you sell your soul to the devil you will you know what I I told in this video number 152 uh, in the end on um, the basic income uh, might be possible for almost all people or especially healthcare but uh, you want healthcare you want them to help you uh, you f must first uh, to submit to all their rules and it's under them in the end it's like to sell your soul to the devil to the satanic Illuminati rulership ah and something else I have observed that um, many FTMs 
in the first months of treatment of FTM often have uh, some kind like a, a little uh, cold infection and I think um, especially if they start uh, the first testosterone with injection I think it would be uh, better to start the treatment very slowly just at least the first week or month uh, to start with cream and then later the injections so the body can adjust slowly to that treatment and that's uh, what I want to do I don't know uh, because I'm between the countries uh, <laughs> it can take another eternity uh, till I get permission from the from Germany where I was born okay almost yeah I was I actually was engendered in Switzerland but uh, it was just cheaper in Germany so in the end I was born in Germany but uh, I'm not in the German system, not just in German Illuminati system. <laughs> Found a state of Illuminati. I have in the location of Soul Confiscator Cat <laughs> on my other Twitter profile. <laughs> Much sarcasm. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway. So I'm not sure, I think in the end uh, I don't want to wait another year because I'm already more than, tw more than two times 18 years old and um, <laughs> I don't feel the necessity to wait for permission to, to masturbate. <laughs> Ah, by the way, I <laughs> I included the hashtag abstinence in my Twitter profile COSP community, community of single people. Uh, I think really of, I have the philosophy of me. The, the other day I wrote a Twitter, a tweet already on Twitter. <laughs> in the end all the problems would go get solved if no uh, children are uh, no more children are born I I was my whole life I was afraid to get pregnant and all these sexual diseases uh, and more than 20 years I've been swallowing this fucking pill, anti-baby pill, although I had almost no, uh, very few relationships and uh, <laughs> I'm almost a little ashamed I didn't know before about the treatment of testosterone. I just watched these little, uh, few videos and when they said, ah, uh, the period stops after about three months and my cat ears, uh, I always hiding behind the cat, cat profile, my, my cat ears went ding! Oh, that's very interesting. The period that menstruation stops are oh, very, very, very interesting. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> anyway, I don't get, I, I really, it depends, I really, I care about how I feel and the depression. Uh, you will be much more stabilized with a testosterone. I feel I, I care about how I feel and not about how other people feel when they look at me. <laughs> they should be happy that they are not blind. Uh, if they don't want that, don't look at me. Horror. Just reading the title of the video mix number 152 Transhuman Robot Androgyny Liberty FTM MTF uh, TRT is abbreviation for um, testosterone 
health, depression, gnosis, God, queer, unisex, LGBT, cure. Actually, I wanted to add the cure, but I always try to use the whole space in the titles of YouTube. Yeah, normally I prefer to these five letters L G B T Q Q for queer because uh, just the L T B T is um, there is missing the Q for which is abbreviation for queer, which is like unisex. But actually, I prefer the word androgyny because it's much more about the sexual identity and not the sexual orientation and I uh, just now I'm waiting for permission to include the word androgyny into the my the title of my YouTube channel uh, yeah I told that before why the moment I have just FTM but actually it's it's good for a while to have this FTM Maybe it's just uh, one or more two two more months when I my voice is going to change. Then <laughs> I've got just the androgyny. And anyway, uh, <laughs> enigma, you know the meaning of the word enigma, which is in my name, Vanus Enigma. And with the health care and uh, the help from government, I'm not just referring to the testosterone treatment, but many other treatments. Many people suffer from depression. And uh, anyway, the uh, GMO, GMO, genetically modified foods, organisms, um, fluoride in drinking water which dumps people down cointel and so many uh, unnecessary health problems which create uh, people's demand uh, of help from health care which in the end uh, makes them uh, dependent or almost like corrupt that they say ah oh, yeah okay we want to submit to all this uh, or to support the philosophy of ah we need government because they help to 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 pay for or the medication, pharmacy, industry, corrupt, uh, really. <laughs> In the end, <laughs> where, the, where does the money come from? Eh? <laughs> where? And anyway, uh, just today I listened to the comparison of these two men of electricity, Tesla and... Um, You know, when it depends on just good innovation, which could help everybody, but if there are no fi financial interests, this uh, idea gets suppressed, and the same, uh, there would be much, um, there would be no necessity for for people starving from hunger, uh, because. <laughs> what did they discover in Antarctica? In Antarctica eh? <laughs> and why are they so concerned that any corporation goes there to to uh, explore the resources? Because there are a lot of resources in, Arta in Antarctica. Look up Flat Earth. Mark K. Sargent, Patricia Steer, Flat Earth Hot Potatoes. I learned a lot of them and especially I appreciate very much a Mark K. Sargent who almost always produce the, the videos creative comments and a my favorite search give in flat earth and bitcoin or flat earth coin that's why I'm so passionate about this idea because to 
combine these two ideas. Bitcoin is the first kind of cryptocurrency and I want to say I appreciate very, very much people who create uh, videos about cryptocurrency Bitcoin and put them try to put them into creative comments just now I may made the mistake to include a little bit of music and they forced me to and anyway in some countries you can not see my video number one five six I think yeah you cannot see because of this copyright fuck your internal property <laughs> uh. so after watching more videos about people FTM in their first months of testosterone treatment I have observed that um, it seems that the testosterone has this negative effect or especially not okay negative in the sense that it seems it makes an infection a throat infection because the voice will change very fast and I have the impression this is uh, the reason that many people get throat expe ex uh, in inflammation um, infection and as I said in my previous videos I have very much problems with throat with chronic throat infection because uh, <sighs> It starts very early tw in the age of when I was 12 fell in that anorexia and always uh, I can win weight but I will not win weight on my hands and feet so I have very only uh, bones and skin always bad blood circulation and the consequence of that b bad blood circulation is that I often have, uh, often have that um, chronic throat infection so one more reason for me that I want to start very very slowly this testosterone treatment more slow than other people I really don't want to start with uh, uh, the first time one injection first I really want to start slowly with this gel or gel or call it cream whatever but over the skin but you have to apply daily after the shower so listening to more FTM videos I want to say my opinion about STP alphabet soup <laughs> abbreviation for stand to pee uh, there are several people who have problems either that it doesn't function or it gets like uh, it's this material of gum silicon which gets uh, some kind of um, these little winkles and so and anyway I think even for men for cis men it's better to sit down if possible first clean or <laughs> because the the bladder or prostata gets emptied better if you sit down and uh, relax completely I know from myself I can pee and five, five minutes later I can sit down and relax completely and I can get out some more drops <laughs> really <laughs> 
Ah, by the way, remember that funny hashtag, P in peace, <laughs> or that a bathroom drama. <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to start this testosterone treatment because you cannot buy it freely in the pharmacy, at least here in Spain, not in many other countries. It's uh, only with a receipt uh, from doctor. So you first normally uh, you must wait for an appointment with a psychologist and then they send you to the incronologist and then later if you are lucky you get permission a receipt to to get the testosterone 16.06.05 I'm just thinking a little bit more about the reasons why in many countries it's prohibited for the pharmacies to sell testosterone without prescription okay they may pretend ah it's for the protection of the consumer but uh, the real reason I think it's much more to have control like a big brother about who is taking testosterone and who not like all the banking movements because of tax issues and the same like Facebook privacy actually they want to know every little thing about you which color of underwear and which with which sex you identify are you a woman are you a man because nothing else between exists <laughs> by the way I want to add change my the name of my youtube channel androgyny vanus and my video mix androgyny at the moment i've got ftm but i just want to put in the end androgyny the people who make the laws are not uh, their first interest is, is not uh, consumer protection or the health of the citizens but uh, interests of money corporations the farmer pharmacy industry the money <laughs> anyway all how the health care system functions if you ask uh, <laughs> if you don't have a um, medical insurance you want to know how much does one surgery cost they <laughs> often they can't tell you it's just a, a deal with the companies with the insurance companies 16 or 6 10 once again I've got problems to sleep often two or three hours after I start sleeping I wake up and can't sleep again and as I try to not eat too much at dinner I often get a <laughs> turn around uh, in bed and then often uh, get hungry and then rather I can sleep but then uh, problems to get up in in the morning when it's time to get up anyway finally I translated that video number 158 originally in English into Spanish it's the number 163 and uh, then later yeah, actually, uh, <laughs> sometimes I start one video and then, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I <laughs> first I like to translate it into Spanish, and 
uh, if it's really important, then into German. So the German version is number 162. So in the end, always translating from one language to the other, uh, you, I often remember something additional, so the video gets always a little longer. <laughs> so in the end, the German version is, is almost double as long than the original version in English. So maybe... Especially what I wanted to say regarding and to fashion, you know the that topic of bathroom drama hashtag p in peace. I like this hashtag. It's funny. Anyway, rem uh, imagine these two symbols on the doors. Uh, the one like uh, this a person with trousers and the other person with skirt. So <laughs> I told my mom, you, you always wear trousers. You must go where the symbol is for, for, for people with trousers. <laughs> and anyway, especially what I want to say, it's totally uh, illogical because a man need more space between the legs so they should have permission uh, to wear some kind of of skirt or or, or dress or long long t-shirt or like I like to wear like some kind of like a t-shirt without arms which goes over the butt uh? <laughs> so in the end it's like <laughs> like a dress <laughs> you know I want to say men need more space between the legs because they have something you know this little thing or sometimes very big thing you understand okay and women they uh, the advantage for women if they wear trousers is uh, first I don't know first or second. First, they get um, is is more is less risk to get raped. Or first or second, I don't. I I, I like these uh, these leggings like um, a short leggings which uh, the bikers wear in German is Radlerhose, and uh, this. And the advantage of wearing trousers, of course, uh, <laughs> you uh, with a dress or with a mini skirt. Anyway, okay, let me start again. Uh, when I was, yeah, I like. Uh, I was wearing a long time mini skirt, but I hate that kind of dress which uh, the wind here Gran Canaria siempre I always much wind and the wind uh, lifts up and the men uh, or sometimes I go downstairs and men sitting there on the stairs and look like oh, uh, must look under the skirt must look under the skirt and I got like oh so angry uh, <laughs> and uh, so that's why often long time I w was wearing a skirt which doesn't blow up in the air when the wind comes because I hate this very much and when the skirt is very narrow you you can hardly open your legs a little and the the, the, the advantage is when you sit you can if you like uh, if you have permission to sit with the legs a little uh, I want to take a little sun you know when I sit uh, 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 so, uh, oh, you know, sometimes the day is so short, and I go shopping and just sit there, take a little sun, and 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 oh, always have to 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 no permission to sit with the legs a little open. I need to take a sun. I mean, take vitamin D. Vitamin D is is uh, produce 
testosterone, do you know, is important. Many people have deficiency of vitamin D. So, uh, can you please give me permission to sit with the legs a little, like to take a little sun, okay? <laughs> I'm always falling into sarcasm. Remembering that episode of Simpson when uh, Homer Simpson uh, defends himself like, oh, uh, in la calle de la piruleta, si no te enteras que estoy sar siendo sarcástico. Sorry, I often w look the Simpson in Spanish, so I have that more present in my <sighs> brain. But now, uh, I think at least three months now, both of my televisions are broken, <laughs> so I'm just watching uh, YouTube on Internet. Uh, anyway, TV, if I like, I can watch some Simpson over Internet. But now lately I've been watching especially about testosterone and FTM, androgyny. And now, uh, lately, uh, hysteric to me because actually I would like to do all these uh, two things t in in one day: mastectomy and hysterectomy. And I think it will be faster my mastectomy because I don't want to keep the nipples because uh, always risk of. Uh, some kind of skin cancer, breast cancer, anyway, the main reason. And maybe uh, appendix remove the same day. And one another little thing on my skin, risk of skin cancer. <laughs> it's funny. On one hand, sit with the open legs, on the, and on the other hand, <laughs> eat uh, garlic in the morning <laughs> for the fresh <laughs> for the fresh smell. <laughs> one tooth of garlic, about seven olives. Some and tomato frito, aquí se llama en Gran Canaria. Uh, it's like a tomato, but it has a little bit oil in there. It's not crude, it's a little bit like a uh, pasteurizado. And milk and uh, curcuma. Curry is very healthy. Uh, curcuma. And a run <laughs> whiskey <laughs> in the mixer is <laughs> for the perfect fresh smell. <laughs> so I like to scare people, <laughs> piss them off, and anyway, I will get acne. <laughs> so try to kiss me, and I put this this acid cream on there, so you better don't kiss me. <laughs> anyway, the other day I told a, a friend, it's, uh, oh, okay, it's just in, in the message. Uh, <laughs> when I was about three years old, I got like an aversion. Uh, there was a dog in the neighborhood who li liked to lick me so much. And I got like an aversion against the the kisses. Ah, by the way, oh, there is one really funny video. Maybe I'll remember me to, maybe I'll paste a little of that video. Let me see. I copied the title of that video. Um, title of the video is Six Months on Testosterone Update FTM Transgender from Andrew Garbo. It's really funny. At first he has the dog 
and the dog uh, kisses him and he like say, oh no no please no don't kiss me so much I know you love me <laughs> but <laughs> it's so funny and this this dog is really so so cute so white and innocent looks like my pro my white cat profile picture <laughs> innocent innocent kitty kitty <laughs> Yes, name, hashtag, innocent crypto kitty, but username, naughty Godzilla, written together, because uh, I really, um, really would like to uh, use the innocent crypto kitty as username too, but you cannot uh, use a username which is so long, so... Uh, <laughs> I can't sh make that short, so I had to use Naughty Katsula. <laughs> I'm just watching some more videos uh, about YouTube, filter, androgyny, and sometimes even there are some Spanish videos. And just now I want to say I thought it before I am not sure if I said it before that actually um, I'm speak these three languages first I actually prefer to create these videos in English then translate into Spanish and the most important videos I translate into German too for my mother and friends in Germany. Comparing these three languages I must confess I like Spanish but one thing I don't like about Spanish is that for example if I want to say I'm tired in Spanish it's estoy cansada and this expresses this the the sex you identify with okay you can use other for other words for example I'm having problems to sleep uh, tengo problemas con el sueño, con dormir, uh, which uh, just to avoid this, to express the sex in the adjective. But that's not so comfortable. So really comparing these three languages, this is one disadvantages disadvantage especially for people who identify with being androgynous but just want to say once again I uh, prefer that people use my name Vanos which is like an abbreviation for my legal name and I'll give priority to these people who use the name of Vanos instead of my old legal name. But anyway, I don't have the intention to change my legal name. This would... Uh, <laughs> um, life is too short to spend time and money to change so many documents I I'd have I I'd, uh, <laughs> this was would take very much time and money especially time to take to to control all the documents and, and oh no sorry no 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 <laughs> that's your problem <laughs> I'm just watching more videos YouTube filter androgynous and um, some ideas while watching videos 
one more advantage like the fashion I like some kind of like t-shirts without the arm armless t-shirts over the butt a <laughs> little bit longer so they cover this <laughs> to show if it's if they have something between their legs or not I think uh, for people who identify with androgynous androgyny actually I prefer the word androgyny because it's shorter uh, I think it's really um, I really prefer this kind of fashion which covers uh, this so instead of the, these trousers which show and uh, many FTM feel necess the necessity to buy S uh, stand to P S T P alphabet soup <laughs> to put in there to pretend her having something in their trousers. Uh, okay, maybe sometimes this is useful if you're in a place you want to pee, but uh, just to pretend having something in your trousers, I really, 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 really prefer to have some kind of fashion which covers this, this uh, goes over the butt anyway, it it's a uh, warmer it uh, no necessity no necessity to show uh, what you have uh, between your legs it's like uh, <laughs> the government wants to know the color of your underwear to confiscate your soul by the way you follow my twitter account soul confiscator cat <laughs> this is what ah you do you are not paying enough tax you need to follow my soul confiscator cat <laughs>